Mellow greetings to me and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're back in Hisui and I apologize now if you can hear the fan in my study. It's a little bit warm here today, which is nice to see at last. Uh, summer has been decidedly missing, even though it's you know, late spring. This is the first sort of spring-like warm day I can remember us having for a while and I am here for it. I love the warm weather. Unfortunately, however, my computer and recording equipment doesn't, so, um, concessions. Concessions are what we're at. So today we are exploring more of the map because only one person has come back to me and they said that they want to see me explore stuff, so we're exploring stuff. Uh, we are back to sneaky, sneaky, sneaking. We are back to catching random things. We are hopefully filling out the Pokedex some more. And then we'll get along with the story, probably in the next episode, probably on Friday, maybe. We'll see what happens. It's the beauty of a good Let's Play, is that we're not tied to anything, we can just do what we want to do. Are those little hillocks across the way there? We will be able to get up to those, just not right now. Right now they're a little bit out of reach, and I am technically going to be entering into what I believe is an out of bound zone. And let's work on leveling Anthony some more. Now we can see there's a few shinks down there. Well, I can see one at least. Looks like it's sleeping. There is a Vivichoke up there. I wonder if I can piff a Pokeball with Anthony in it to get there. That would be nice. Because Vivichokes are definitely what we'd be all about. Hello, Shinx. There are more Shinx down that way. This is a very Shinx heavy area. And we like that. Because Shinx are adorable. Look at him. Look at him sleeping. Him, her, it, they. Critter. Look at that critter. Ah. <sighs> I hope you've all been having a wonderful whatever biennial period you happen to be in when you're watching slash listening to this. What is that? Oh, wood. That's right, we need wood to make the pokey doll things. Oh no, it's all a satchel. Even better. So periodically when you're wandering the wilds, so you will come across battle. And Alpha Luxio. You will come across uh, satchels that other players have lost. I believe that some of them get randomly seeded. They appear to belong to like NPCs and stuff. Um, but some of them are also where players have died. So I personally can't tell which is which. I, you get, I guess you get to recognize the NPC names after a while, but I haven't spent that long collecting satchels. So, Well, there's another Wurmple because we need more Wurmples. A lot more Wurmples. Because we really, 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 really want to get the universe to spawn us. Ah! No, don't run away! Let's be friends! They're a highly non-aggressive species. Uh, we really, really want the universe to spawn us a shiny for one very specific reason. Um, I'm hoping that everybody is familiar with the terms that I'm using. Shinies, etc. Uh, if not, there are a ton of videos out there about them, or let me know and I'm happy to explain what I understand of it. Uh, whilst I am a long term Pokemon player, I have not been. I'm, and I guess I classify as a casual, so. Definitely a casual. All about. You know what? That's how I like it. Although competitive Pokemon is something I have very much wanted to get into for quite some time. And you know, maybe maybe the next generation, maybe Scarlet and Violet with all their fancy new forms and terror types and crystal chandelier hats and that will be my time, my chance. And also having seen the amount of work that goes into preparing for competitive battles and the fact that I am but one leafy. Uh oh. Hi! I just really wanted to go get a bit of a joke. 
Level 19. You're a big boy. Let's try and catch it. I don't like arrows. It's at half health, so maybe. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Yes! We caught a butterfly. And at level 19, which is not a low level for a butterfly, but it's higher than we've been experiencing with most of the stuff, so. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that got us a lot of levels. That's nice. We like this. We like this a lot. Do not turn around. Do not turn. Do not turn around. No! Yes, go hide in the tree. Hide in the tree. You can't see me. I'm just a sweet, innocent little trainer. I'm not moving. You can only see me if I move, right? You and Tyrantrum. Can't see me, can't see me, can't see me, I'm not here. There we go. This time you won't have a tree. I can sneak away just in case. Nuts. It's Saurus, it's Saurus! Ow, 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 Anthony. Oh, this one's level 22. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Anthony, please leave, please leave. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, alright, Octavia, get out there. Sorry, Anthony. But we are gonna head back to camp after this. Cause I haven't made any revives yet, and I'm not sure if I have all the ingredients. Actually, we might give that a try. I haven't actually done any field crafting during this Let's Play, so... Let's... Um... Try... And work out... How to... Craft. Can I make a revive? Yeah, let's make five of them. Because I am a bad Pokemon mother. Now let's use a revive on Anthony. I wonder if I can actually make them evolve while they fainted. That would be kind of cool. Uh, while we're here, let us run some evolution. So we'll start with Roman get to see the awesome awesome evolution screen that weird vibrating sound in the background was me putting my joy-con on my desk temporarily sorry about that I didn't realize it was gonna buzz quite that loudly evolve Octavia be grown be stronger be amazing. I love the shadow image with the yellow eyes. That is just so wicked. Anthony, evolve, please. Now maybe you'll be able to handle it. Oh, I'm sorry. That was me. For me. I do love Anthony. Evil Bibarrel. Hey, Anthony got an idea. Alright, Cad. Show him how it's done. Show him how to evolve as only a starter kit. Oh, 
Alright, so evolutions are all done. That should help with a lot of our dex info. Although it does mean that I'm going to have to pull out another set so that I can use attacks. Because these guys are going to form part of my mainstay team. Now uh, this area does become important to something later. I've not triggered it. But I'm sure it does. It's too deliberate an area not to. Ooh, Viva Joke. You saw nothing. You still don't see anything. Pretty much out of my range at this point. Here, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fly. That is really, really hard to say multiple times fast. I would whistle, but I'm not sure how to translate well into a microphone. Dumpty dumpty dum. You don't see us. You don't see us at all. If I thought about it, I should have come up here at night. And we've got some lovely black tumble stone, which is useful for making heavy balls. That I believe may also contain iron on occasions. It's also very useful for crafting. And uh, we do want to come back here at night, but right now I'm a little bit sick of wasting balls on butterflies. So, we will come back eventually. Although I do really want to go get those wormples and that bug wood. I can't remember what recipe bugwort is used for. But there's no such thing as a useless ingredient, so... I'm actually quite surprised we haven't seen a shaking tree yet. Stay in the bowl. Alright, fine, run away. Be a snook. I'll just chase you. It's not you I'm after. I am here to cause no harm. I am but an innocent trainer. Oh, I see a silcoon. We're going to go get that. Stay in the ball, guys. Really got to be careful of that Luxio. Fairly sure it could us. Oh, we're at 10 out of 10 caught without being spotted. Yay! And now we want to go get this Silcoon because we want to add it to our decks. And really, this is a huge, huge part of this game. And we'd already walked all the way around over here. But as the time of day changes, so do the spawns. So you've got to keep a weather eye on the horizon until you know where everything spawns. Which I will be 100% honest, I don't at this point. There we go, we've got a Silcoon. Switching up to evening, so those Beautifly may be about to change up. We'll see. And we're keeping a weather eye on that Luxio. Because it could hurt us, and we don't want to get hurt. Alright, Beautifly are still Beautifly. Um, as evening settles in, they will become Dustox. So I'll probably come back at some point and grab them in dust ox form. If I remember. Which I probably won't, because bug types just aren't my jam, as a general rule. Like almost everybody, I have my favourites of everything. Happy Anthony.
iron chunk. Thank you for getting us some chunky iron. And from the sounds of things, we're heading back to Shinxland. I want to get us across the bridge to explore a bit as well. Go play with all the cricket tunes, cricket tots, cricket tots, and catch some more weasels. As we all know, we need the weasels. Specifically, we need a very tall weasel. After that, I might actually. Oh, there's a vivid choke over there. In amongst that horde of shinks. And another tumble stone. Nah. Nah, fam, we got this. Let's go this way. What was I saying before that? I'm sure it was vital, whatever it was. Okay, we now have enough wood to make the pokey doll thing. And we've got drift loons about. Darn. I do need to catch a whole bunch more drift loons, but. What are you? A Pichu! Again, a spawn I've never actually seen. I knew they were out here, but I've never actually seen one out here. Alright, make a mental note of that, Ronan. I'm sure that there are, are videos out there, the ever-excellent Austin John plays will have instructionals on where to find anything and everything you need. It, I don't know, it takes some of the mystery out of it, looking it up. I, I like working it out for myself. Still being able to be surprised by it when I've got like 200 hours in my other game file. Still haven't finished the game. Just because I've spent so long wandering around looking for all of the things and where they live and where they hide and gathering more materials than any one person will ever need for anything because I can't decide if I'm being ecologically friendly by making my own everything or if I'm an ecological terrorist because I'm just stripping nature bare and it's one of the two alright one of the few places where it's okay to get your feet wet and that Snorlax over there is well beyond our capacity to face right now, so we're actually not going to go past this point until we've got a higher level team or the capacity to run faster. Once we can do one of those things. Hoping that the Drifloon will ignore us. Because like every other PC in every other game, we can run around for days at a time without needing to eat or sleep or drink or acknowledge the existence of other bodily functions. Never fear, for we are unyielding, unbending, and unending. We do not age, we do not speak. We simply are. And in our beings lay eternal. As long as our save data doesn't get corrupted. That be our only weakness. Data corruption. That's a very big wimble. Uh, I do love the nighttime music. It's just 
It's so soothing. Hello, Wimple. Sorry to wake you. Get in my bowl, please. Yay! See, the trick is to ask politely. Catch more Wimple with polite words than you do with vinegar. Oh, that's on the other side. Watching out for the Shinx with the glowing eyes. Trying very, very hard not to sneeze. Because that would be awkward and weird. Alright, so we are actually heading for a camp. Just not the starting camp. We're going to go head up to the Fieldlands camp, hopefully. First... We are going to verify that our Pokemon can in fact swim. We can't, but they can. And that's what's important. Give it, they're the ones doing all the works. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Good Zubat. Now, get the ball. Now, last time we were over here, we pretty much just ran up the center path. Today, we can detour over this way. Oh, we have our first shaky tree. We're going to ask Anthony to go get that move choke for us. Stuck on a rock and hope that that drift loon doesn't notice us. Into the ball. Yay! Alright, now shaky trees, much like sh shaky rock, will drop a bug one! Yay! Um. Anthony, hit it gently. Thank you. Yes. Alright, baby, you're one of my least favorite Gen 4 Pokemon, but get the ball and stay there. Stay. Thank you. That'd be what we after. Oh, and you dropped a Viva Choke. Thank you, baby. You're a good friend. Oh, sun is coming up because our Drifloon have swapped out for Starlies. Still need to catch a few of those, so. That was very subtly piffable at this fellow. You didn't see anything, Starly. It's alright, your friend's just. Okay. Huh. Usually once they've got an exclamation mark, we can't catch them, but that one was an exception. <gasps> I see a weasel. Please, weasel, be like two foot eight. Two foot nine would be nice. Mm -hmm. 
Please stay in the bowl. Yay! Oh, that one counted as large. Maybe that means that it's two foot eight. We won't know until we get back to camp. If I recall rightly, there were a bunch of boys all over on the shore teasing us. By this stage, we've probably actually perfected it. Uh, well, we've probably actually reached level 10 on a couple of other. You're out of range. A couple of other Pokemon, so that will be helpful. I'm going to ignore those starly. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a floatzel. That's a weasel little grown up. And it's an alpha. It's probably going to get very cranky at us if we start try and steal its cousins. We're just going to come down to the water's edge. And hope that the big boy doesn't see us. Or drop upon our heads. Ah! No, oh, it's looking this way! It's looking this way! You are not what I'm here for yet! Try not to kill it, Roman. Just gently tap it. Get in the ball. Stay in the ball. Get in the ball. Stay in the ball. Get in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay, 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 stay. Stay, stay, stay. In the thing. No, you son of a slug. You know he's going to kill you now. Can't be helped. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You're fine, Roman. Don't sweat it. This time, stay at the ball, cranky one. Come on. Yes. You are now known as the grumpy one. And I've seen you use Aqua Jet once. Great. Gonna be a little bit bold and daring. Send Adam after that tree. Ooh, Adam can evolve. It would be a friendship evolution. So right now, Adam would be turning into Umbreon or Espeon. Thordisaurus. But in truth, he did not. Alright. Adam. Ah, nuts. Thought I was close enough. I was wrong. Doop -a doop -a doop -a doop -a doop -a 
Actually, you know what? We're just going to zoop there because... I want to go swap a few things around. Check out some... Uh, I want to see my Pokemon. Alright, none on that page. So glad we got that picture. We are about to sort through these guys and see if we got one of an appropriate height. Check summary two five two three two one two 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 seven. <sighs> Darn. Um, none in there. None in there, but twenty billion bidoof. I could use a rest. I'd like to rest till evening, please. There's a particular rare spawn I want to see if I can trigger. Hey, bruv. And then after that, we might actually head back for a little bit. Head back to town, renew, refresh. There's probably a couple of quests we can hand in right now. I was worried about that throw for a sec. I don't think you need to be as precision as I have been with the throws, but... Uh, okay, not here. I just... I don't know, I guess I've played too many games with m moving sniper rifles. Mass Effect for making me paranoid. You haven't seen me, you know nothing, little bug. I also really want to go get that sparkly tumble stone. Stay in the bowl this time. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. This is not the direction I wanted to go in. Oh, there's a Zubat out now. Excellent. We need to catch more Zubat. Also, we need to defeat a bunch of them with ground-type moves, if I recall my decks correctly. Oh, no. Thought I saw something sparkling over there, but it was just the uh, top of a drift loon. Cricket rat. 
So over here and up on that ledge we just jumped off, you will occasionally get um, Munchlax spawns. I know this because I've been hunting it to complete its dex entry in my other game. And it's one of the other places I know, or two places I know where I've seen them. Um, but they're a very, very low spawn rate. So, don't get anywhere near as much of them as I might like. I'm king of the castle. Sparklies! There is more tumble black tumble stone up there, but I don't think we can get up there just yet. Next time, get it. Alright, so we'll rest in the morning and head into town, just because I infinitely prefer resting until morning to head into town. I just think town's prettier during the day, I'm a bit weird like that. I could use a rest. Alright, so it's just saying that we earn uh, MP for finding lost satchels. Making you know, any. And we can then trade in that MP for stuff. 56, that's not a bad haul for an early run. That may just kick us over to second star. Okay, we got level 10. So we got a few 10s out of that run, which is nice. Yay, star level 2! Return to the village. Back in town, so let's go report into Silene. I'm oh, sorry, Captain Silene. Does not end up incapacitated. Yay, new star rank! Ah, feather balls. Our feather balls are really good for piffing at Pokemon that are flying. Um, we haven't seen any yet, but we will eventually. Not seeing any new quest markers about. Just call that an episode, I think. Alright, we have saved. We, we, we did a lot of headway. We caught some new Pokemon today. We helped fill out dex entries and a few more. We got a couple of evolutions in. Honestly, it's a solid play session. Uh, as I said, in the next episode, we will start hopefully wending our way 
towards himself, the Lord of the Forest. I may get some play in in between. Uh, do some leveling, just round out some of those dex entries. I don't think you guys want to watch me catch 50 Pokemon of the same species over and over and over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that what I'm showing is relatively balanced experience. You're seeing all aspects of the game, but hopefully not enough to bore you. I guess we'll find out as we go. And for now, this is Ronan Tia signing off, and we will catch you in the next episode.